Been a long day. Think I'll take the bike for a ride. Hey, uh, Boba, how are you going to ride it? Oh, God, no. Are you going to ride it like a bantha? Yeah, because that joke never gets old. Well, hello there, everybody. I'm Photo Dave. This is Toy Picks, and today I'll be talking about the SH Figure Arts Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett with Throne. And let me tell you something. Oh, let me tell you something that just burns me. I got this figure for about thirty dollars more than you can get them on Amazon as of this recording, and that was from ordering him from AmiAmi, an import site that usually saves me anywhere from twenty to forty bucks. So yeah. I got hosed on this one. The point is, at the end of this video, if you decide you want this figure, the link will be in the video description for you to get him much cheaper than I did, as well as links to everything else you see in this video. Those are affiliate links, so if you choose to purchase something through them, I get a cut. I appreciate it. Helps out the channel. Now, without any further ado, let's talk about the Big Bad Boba. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is that real sand? Yes, it is. In order to make this review feel much more authentic, I had it flown in from Tunisia. Or I went to Lowe's and bought some beach sand. I'll let you decide anyway. Let's check out Boba here. Now in the last review I did, I talked a lot about detail, and it's hard not to notice all the crazy detail on all this stuff. He's got all that silver kind of dry brushing thing going on all over his armor. This moves down. Ooh, for aiming goodness. He's got all that going on right on his chest plate. You can see kind of the dry brushing going on there. All the marks, all the, like, check out just all the stuff going on with his belt, like all the different color and all that. Just the work that went into it. Then look at the arm guards and how crazy that looks. This is just, just the extra paint alone makes such a difference. It's crazy. And then you've got these weird joints that if you push in the back of the figure, let's see, you can kind of cover those joints up a little bit. So it's not so bad, it's not so crazy looking. Everything going on there as far as the little blaster kind of things on his knee pads. I really like this because I had the last Boba Fett, but I sold him partially because this one was coming. And this one does feel much more solid than that one. I do like that his knee pads actually are around the knee. The last one, it was like they were almost near the top of the shin or a little lower than that, which was crazy. Now you've still got more going on there as far as detail. You've got a little sigil there. Just all the paint, all the ridiculousness, all the stuff you've come to expect when it comes to SHF Star Wars figures. That, that was way harder to get out than it should have been. And now, Articulation! Name's Logan, and I'm the best there is at what I do. And what I do is tell you to be sure to click the link in the description below ee.toy slash toypics. That'll save you 10% on all in-stock items at Entertainment Earth, and give you free domestic shipping on all orders over $39. Now, get to cracking. Otherwise, I'm going to have to show you the other thing I'm pretty good at. 
And now let's take a look at those accessories. First, we'll start with the hands with fists. There you go. Got a little bit of paint on there, all kinds of good stuff. Gotta love SHF, man. The hands that will grip the end of the rifle. Stay still, hand. There we go. These hands will hold the gaffy stick. And then the fun hands for actually holding the rifle, the trigger hands. All right, hands down. All right, let's get into the weapons. First, we have the gaffy stick, which splits so that you can slide it into the gaffy stick holding hands. Very cool stuff. Then we have his pistol, which again, nice detailing on that bad boy. Whew, SHF, killing it. We have the little holster that will replace this holster. This holster right here has a little gun inside it, except it's not actually removable. It's just sculpted in. But when he's supposed to be holding his gun, that's when we'll use this thing. We have the rocket for the jetpack, the alternate rocket for the jetpack, and of course, we have the big gun. Woo, woo. I do so love Star Wars. We've got the jetpack itself. All the crazy paint on there. It's just unbelievable. It's, it's a piece. Like, there's nothing. It's just a piece. And there's all kinds of that paint going on there. Cool stuff. Even on the inside. I didn't notice that. Like, the vents on the inside of it. Even those are painted silver. Awesome stuff. And then we've got... These that just replace the ends, like the bottom end part of the backpack, the jetpack. So you'll just do this. Easy for me to say. Pop. And then pop this back on, or pop this on. Again, hard to do on camera. Easy to do when not. But pretty good stuff there. And while I've got the jetpack, I might as well pop in the rocket. Gotta love that thing. When you're really having fun with the jetpack and launching things off his back, you've got the little flame trail from firing the rockets. Whoa, that's an angry boba. And it's a crooked rocket. No jokes. No jokes in the comments, kids. But yeah, very, very awesome stuff. Now, Let's get to the heads. Okay, first things first, you just pop this head off at the neck. Pretty easy to do. See, this is kind of a floating little piece there. It's, it's kind of a pain to work with, but not too bad. Just remember it's there. And now we'll take this boba head, which looks good. But I'm going to echo a lot of what I've heard from other people online. It's that... It kind of looks like the paint on his head could have been punched in a little darker. Could have looked a little better like that. But I think the shape face is right. The shape face? The shape of the face is accurate. I think if you're taking photos, if you shine, say, a light right up here. In fact, let's try that real quick. Maybe not that side, because that light's finicky. If you shine this light here you'll see that it kind of hits the face shape really well. It's just, just good stuff. Good stuff all around. So it'll cast the right shadow. I just think that the sculpt turned out incredible. And then, while I've got this one, let's also show a slightly angrier Boba. Woo! That's not a happy guy. In fact, it almost has a Dr. Evil look to it. Yes, evil. One million dollars. I'm going to stop that now. Although maybe I'll use my pinky a little. Man, eh, that's, that's not working. Okay, let's pop this head on with the neck. Oh, man. On camera, this stuff is always such a pain in the butt. There we go. And now articulation-wise, obviously with a head like this, 
you're gonna get a little more. And finally, what would a throne room Boba Fett be without a throne? Again, I could sit here and bore you all with all the talk of massive detail, or we could just zoom in a bit, and you could just take a peek at what all they did there. All the wash, you've got kind of that whole oxidation look going, I suppose, kind of Statue of Liberty style on the Rancor heads and below. You've got just beat up base like that. Underneath, you know, not much there. This is just a hollow piece of plastic, so it's really light. But still, with all the wash and everything else going on, it looks extra fancy. Sculpt work is awesome. Try to keep flipping it around so I can show different parts. There's the top. Yeah. All the paint, all the sculpt work, rancor heads, seats, colors, it's all good. And now, just for fun, here we have Boba taking a seat. Now you'll notice his feet don't quite touch the ground. I looked up the pictures hoping that there was an inaccuracy or an accuracy thing going on there. Turns out it's an inaccuracy thing. His feet should hit the ground, so I'm a little bummed out when it comes to that, but overall, Pretty happy with the two of them combined. I think that they have a good look together. They look like they belong together. Now I'll run through showing you a few things here just so you know how they work. One is, try and do this on camera, just popping off a hand. Simple enough. You've got a little bit of a ball peg there. And then you just take another hand and replace it. <laughs> hey, I'm getting better at this whole reaching around the camera thing. Kind of. Let's see, get in focus. There we go. So now he's got his trigger finger on. Now the trigger finger is just, it's more kind of pointing. It's not a true trigger. Like it doesn't actually go through the trigger guard, but anyway, there you go. Boba, looking good. Now the reason I did that is because I wanted to show you this part. Taking this off, you just lift that little peg there, and then you pull this off at the bottom strap. Keeping this in focus is tricky. There you go. Let go peg. Okay, with that unpegged, you can see that little part that's sticking out, as well as the little peg that's at the bottom there, connected to the strap. So you take this piece, which will fit right over that, and right over that peg, So the reason I did that is just so he could hold his pistol. And so it would look right. Boba Fett! So now we get to the most complicated part of this figure, and that is the back. Putting the jetpack on. And I believe the reason he's like this is because when you seat him in the throne, he probably shouldn't be wearing his jetpack. It's easier if he's not. So they did this and they put those little silver pieces in there because what you'll have to do to put the backpack on is remove that green plate and remove those silver pieces from the green plate to slide it in. But the reason I think they covered that is to cover up a hole so you don't have just holes in him when he's sitting down on the throne. But it makes it kind of a pain. It might possibly be over engineering. I'm not sure, but I get why they did it. However, pulling these things out is a pain in the butt. I mean, it's not that tough to pull the whole plate from the back, but then getting them out without dropping them on the floor kind of sucks. So look out for that. I'm going to try and do it right now, and we'll see how successful I am. It's kind of dumb when you decided to fill your table with sand, because, yeah, you don't want them to get lost in that.
that's what it took to take those pieces off. And now what you can do is plug the jetpack in. So it's on the back piece now. And now you plug the back piece into the boba. Easy enough. And then you've got... The Fet Man. And now, let's see how he sizes up to other figures in the Toy Picks collection. And now, since Toy Picks is about action figure photography, I figured I'd give you my final thoughts while showing off the setup here. We have the huge light to make it look like daylight because it's much bigger than the subjects. That'll work. We have the key light there. We have the fill light being portrayed by the reflector. And we have the backlight behind them because duh. Now, as far as my final thoughts on Boba Fett, oh, and uh, that's actually why I got sand. I didn't want him standing on a black table for photos. Anyway, final thoughts here. I love them. I'd buy them again. I'm a big fan, although I'd want to buy them at Amazon prices this time instead of AmiAmi. Now, things that people might consider, price, it's up there. But if you're into photography, you like a lot of expression, so you like a lot of hands, you like a lot of heads, you like a lot of accessories. But the things that even photographers could get irritated by are those three silver pegs in the back. Fortunately, a Ziploc solves that. Also, there's some wires on his arm. See if I can get you a good look here. Right there. And if you don't twist that arm guard well, then they'll be too tight to get it in a great position. So you want to make sure and twist that arm guard just so those wires feel okay when you're putting a rifle in his hand and, well, having him hold it. Then, of course, you've got the neck thing, which is kind of a pain to work around. And you've got his heads that could have used some darker paint. Now, aside from all that, those are what I would call my gripes. But even then, eh, it's me, so I'm not very gripey about it. I'm very lucky that I've been in the game for a long time, so I tend to know which figures I'm going to dig. So yes, for me, I highly recommend it. If you're not into action photography, there's a lot of Boba Fett's out there that could probably fill your needs just fine. Anyway, folks, comment below. Let me know what do you think of the Fet Man here. And if you feel so inclined, go ahead and click a subscribe button. I certainly appreciate it just as much as I appreciate the fact that you all watch this all the way through to the end. You guys are rock stars. So stick around for the photos. And until next time, have fun and happy snapping. See ya. <music>